Hi, my name's Aidy, and today I'm going to teach you the finger tapping technique. Now, if you're new to my channel and you haven't been here before, this is all about helping you to learn the guitar. So please check out some of my other videos in the range, and if you enjoy them, hit the like and subscribe button. Today we're going to look at the finger tapping technique, uh, which was popularised by Eddie Van Halen, uh, who used to actually hide himself uh, from the crowd when he played the technique with his back to the crowd uh, to disguise how he did it. The technique's come on a long way since then, however the basic principles still apply, uh, and if you, you practice this exercise we got today, then you'll have the technique mastered within a couple of weeks. So let's have a look at the notes involved in the exercise. We're going to play this using a, an A minor arpeggio. And what I'd like you to do is take your first finger of your left hand, your fretting hand, place that on the fifth fret of our thin E string. I'd also like you to take your little finger and place it on the eighth fret of the same, same string. And what we're going to do is we're going to be tapping onto the twelfth fret of that same string again. Okay. Now, in terms of how to, to, to hold the pick and hold, hold, hold the tap in motion, what I'd like you to do is keep the pick between your, your thumb and your first finger and use your middle finger for the tapping technique. Now, you can use any finger for tapping, uh, and Van Halen himself used to actually hold the pick uh, within the palm of his hand and use his first finger. However, for, for the sake of starting off, I'd recommend using your middle finger uh, because that allows you to hold onto your pick and switch between techniques quite quickly. Now to create the tapping sound, what we're going to do is we're going to use what we would normally do with our left hand for legato. So we're going to do a hammer-on with the right hand, with this middle finger. So the first note of our, our low exercise is going to be a hammer-on with the middle finger straight onto the 12th fret. Okay? And as with any other hammer-on, when you hammer onto the strings, you want to be hammering on close to the actual fret marker, close to the metal bit. You don't want to be doing it on the back end of the fret. You'll struggle for clarity and you'll need to, to do it a bit harder. So getting it right near the edge will give you a good clean sound and will save you having to press too hard on the string. That's your first note. Your second note is going to be created with a pull-off. And to pull-off, I'd like you to move your, your middle finger away. Okay, so there's a, a clear twang of the string there. So that pull off, you very clearly here, here there, there is definitely a twang of the string. What I don't want is just a lift in the finger, because it sounds a little bit too light, and you'll struggle when you get into to high volume situations to make this ring through. So the two motions there, a hammer on, and then a pull off. Now that's essentially the, the tapping technique, and if you see it written down uh, on tablature, usually the hammer on it is signified by the letter T, um, signifying that you use the right hand to, to hammer on for the tapping motion. You don't necessarily have to pull off, you can tap without without the pull off, but, but generally speaking, uh, it, it's it's there. Now what I want you to do to continue this, this particular exercise uh, is to create a nice 16th note framework. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what we just did with the tapping motion, to hammer on pull off and then what we want you to do is then pull off with your little finger so that you hear the, the note on your first finger and then the hammer back on with your little finger so all together hammer pull off pull off hammer okay so it should be four notes there one two three four now in a 16th note framework, which is what we're aiming for here, we would count that as this. One, E, and A. Uh, giving you four notes per beat. So if we were, were playing with a drum beat or a metronome, um, we'd play for a whole bar, you would count it like this. One, E, and A. Uh, two, E, and A. Uh, three, E, and A. Uh, four, E and R. Uh. Now what's really important with this technique is that you ensure every single note rings for exactly the same length of time. You'll probably find it not too difficult to get to the stage that we've just done there, but when you play it a bit quicker, it's very easy for it to go out of time like that and not sound very clean. So we need to make sure that as soon as we're comfortable where we're placing our fingers that we're really strong on getting the timing right. So if we're using the metronome, there's a few things you can do. If you're brand new to this kind of stuff, I'd recommend playing one note per beat. 
so for every time the metronome clicks or beeps, you play a single note, making sure they're all the same length of time. If you're happy with that, then play them as eighth notes, so you have two notes per beat. And then when you're happy with that, you can then play them as the sixteenth notes with the four note per beat like we just did. Uh, ensuring that you're always keeping it nice and tight to that timing. Now that's the exercise. Um, if it's played in a nice continuous motion, you should have a very clean and continuous sound. Okay, um, you see I use the other finger there, let's use the little finger like I said earlier. And all we've got to do is keep that going with that same timing. Now, if you do that exercise every day for two to four minutes, you will have this to absolute perfection within a couple of weeks. It's really not that much to, to learn and achieve. Um, don't spend far uh, far too long one session trying to do it. Just do it nice and short, uh, burst but regular. It's the best way to learn it quickly. Uh, up to speed. Um, it sounds quite cool. And you can, of course, move it around and play with different things. But that's all today. Just a little introduction to the technique. Uh, mass that, that, that particular uh, framework. Uh, and do note the dis distances between your fingers, because this is a minor chord we're span out here. In this instance, it's an A minor chord. I'm starting on an A note on my first finger, C note uh, on my little finger, and an E note uh, on the tapping finger, which is a one, three, five with intervals. If you keep that spacing, you'll always be playing a, a minor chord, so you can use that against the, the chords in your, in your song. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Please feel free to ask any questions in the comment section below. Uh, do check out some of the other videos. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit the bell if you want notifications. You don't have to do that, but uh, do hit the subscribe button. It helps. And, uh, and please say hello in the comments below if you watched. All right. But otherwise, thanks very much for watching and take care and I'll see you soon.